Hi, this is Sonia, the nutrition healer, and I have a treat for you today. We will be talking about gallium or cleaver or sticky weed. Look how it sticks to itself and it will stick to wherever we put it, to clothing. I used to throw it at my friends when I was a child. I think we all did that. Look how wonderful it is. It's a great plant. So I will be summarizing some of its benefits first. Then I will share some foraging information with you because this plant cannot be bought fresh from the market. It doesn't travel very well. So once you have picked it, you pretty much have to use it. Um, if you put it in the fridge and you want to use it the next day, it's not going to work. And um, then I will show you a few video clips, how I processed it and a little bit of my experience with it. And yeah, so are you excited? I am. So let's get started. This video, like all my videos, I intended for educational purposes only. If you want to use any of the information, speak to your healthcare provider, your GP or your local herbalist. And if you want to forage for this plant or any other plant, seek guidance from your local expert first. This plant was used uh, since records began. It was used as a coffee, as a venet for cheese making, as a uh, flavoring and fragrance, and it was used as stuffing for mattresses. It was uh, given its name because of these functions, Gallium aperine. Gallium comes from milk and aperine denotes that it was used for the stuffing of mattresses. And in fact, it is super good for sleep. Um, it reduces anxiety, panic, fear and stress and it makes you sleep like a baby. And um, it is even used by animals in the wild. So sometimes you may come across a little pile of gallium um, that an animal uh, used to put there to sleep on. Um, it's also ideal for children because gallium has a very nice um, protecting and loving energy. And you know, sleep is really important for regeneration and creating immunity as we sleep and for detoxification. I have created a course, Seven Steps to Better Sleep with Ayurveda, because I feel that uh, lack of sleep is the number one wellness issue uh, around the globe. Most people don't get enough sleep and you can uh, have a look at my sleep presentation also here on YouTube. And this plant is really very helpful. And you can get this as a tincture or a flower essence. And it's really quite a loving herb. It supports love and attachment. And before I go and show you this plant, I want you to know the 10 rules of foraging. Never eat anything you don't know. Do your own research very well. And always consult several sources and get a local expert to help you identify the plant. And before you even eat a new plant, handle it very well, just in case you have allergies. Um, when you start eating it, eat small amounts to begin with and never mix new plants together uh, for the first time. And when you forage um, for leaves, pick them with the stems attached. It gives you another identification point in the kitchen. And remember your foraging spot for next year. But please do not eradicate the plant at that spot. Leave enough so that it can seed the next year. And this is Gallium in my garden. As you can see, it's growing up against the fence. But this is Gallium now in a field um, and it doesn't have a fence. So you see how flat it lies on the ground. Um, as I'm picking it up, you have to be careful not to pick up other plants with it because everything wants to stick to it. Gallium is also uh, known to Ayurveda, traditional Indian medicine and also traditional Chinese medicine. But uh, it seems that it is not used extensively nowadays on a daily basis. But in Western herbal medicine, it is part and parcel of everyday use since before Christ. 
Actually, baby Jesus slept in it and donkeys don't like to eat it. In fact, this plant goes back a long time. It's uh, been used for over 2,000 years by Western herbalists. Maria Treben was a famous Austrian herbalist in the 80s and she's developed uh, an external cream with gallium in it. And your local herbalist can also make that for you. Fast forward to 2020. And I've had a little look at the uh, medical database uh, to find out what the research concentrates on and that will be cancer, uh, heart health, skin healing, um, anti-inflammatory conditions, uh, immune system enhancing, uh, cardioprotective, urinary tract diseases, ulcers, and also um, its ability to lower blood pressure. It is in the Chinese Encyclopedia of Traditional Medicine and it's also in the Ayurvedic Materia Medica. And to remind everyone that Ayurveda is a traditional medicine of India and 5,000 years old. And there are Ayurvedic hospitals all over India focusing on detoxification and healing. So back to gallium. And it contains a large amount of vitamin C. You use the top part of the plant, not the roots. Apparently the roots were used to make wet dye. And you can use it uh, in spring as a spring cleanse. And you can use it as a vegetable, as a skin wash, as a poultice, like a paste if you mash it up for the skin. as a hot and cold infusion. And I'll show you a bit later how to use it. And I just want to quickly go over the fact that it can also be used for animals in the same way. I have given um, a wash to my neighbor for her horses and she says they're much more comfortable now and not itching. Okay, so summarizing the action. So it's a tonic or the cyanine Ayurveda. It's really good for the lymphatic system. It's very good for the nervous system. It creates beauty and youthful looks. It's very gently laxative, like Vata Anulomana. It protects the liver. It's very good for hypertension and heart health. It can aid weight loss. It's an anti-inflammatory and it reduces all types of fevers. It has been researched for its cancer killing activities and preventing new growth, urinary disorders, and also interesting for men's health and skin healing. So this is a summary of the information that is available to us at the moment about this herb. Now let's have a look at um, how to process it. So first of all you wash it. Um, the garden harvest wasn't as dirty as the field harvest. And then you can stick it in cold water and in the fridge for a cold infusion. The next day the water tastes a bit like cucumber water and it's very refreshing. And then you can boil it and make a wash out of it for use in skincare. And then you can juice it, but make sure you have an agar juicer. Any other juicer will probably break because the herb is very stringy. And then you can use the juice as you would use a wheatgrass shot. It's also very delicious just with a drop of water or on its own. Here's the juice. Uh, in this case, I've added it to apple and lemon. But it is not necessary to mix it with anything. It's quite delicious. And here it's my harvest drying in the sun. It dries super quickly. And then you can make a tea out of it. And if you get any of the bits in your mouth, it tastes a bit like parsley, but it's not as soft as parsley. And here I'm making a herbal salt. I'm mixing salt and uh, goosegrass powder. And then it goes in the blender and comes out like this. Uh, afterwards I put it in a jar. And the salt acts as a preservative. So I hope this was useful. This is it from me for now. Um, but if I have missed anything or you have anything to add or to share, please do let me know. I'm very interested how this herb is used in other cultures. For example, I know that it is used in Turkish traditional medicine a lot. 
and it could be interesting to know uh, how it is used in Russia and in Iran, for example. So if you have a very wise old grandma, please ask her for me. So I hope you found my little video about gallium insightful and relevant. Uh, it is designed for educational purposes and for personal advice. Go and see your local herbalist or healthcare provider. Chances are that they will run um, herbal walks where they help you identify this plant or courses or can give you a personal consultation. Uh, join our community on Facebook, hashtag The Nutrition Healer. And don't forget to like this video, subscribe to this channel and share it out with your friends. Share the love around so that everybody can benefit from this information. And I will also find that if people enjoy it, um, there's some need for more videos. So my friend Gallium and I would like to send you all our love. Stay safe.